the best eye drops. I think they're called Sustain, Sustain. Ultra high performing dry eye relief. It just, it's like eye lube. I love, I've always loved eye drops though, probably an unhealthy amount. I don't know why, ever since I was young, because probably because I was on swim team. Because on swim team, you're in chlorine all the time, and so your eyes burn, you know, especially when you get out of the water. And that's probably where I first got it. So it's been a long time, and um, these are really good. But I was just thinking, ooh. I mean, it feels like a baptism every time a drop goes in. It feels like your eyes are getting baptized of all the filth and the dirt and the funk and the shaking off the, shaking off Satan, shake, shaking off the evil feel it in your lashes and you just want to take your hanky or your white robe <laughs> like in church you just want to wipe away those sins just like that wipe away those sins it really is like a baptism for the eyes now I have clear vision boy I had a whole lot of clear vision right before I left I was like channeling some really crazy stuff and that's when I posted about the monsters or the monstrous spirited people if you guys saw that in my community tab it just came over me before I left the house and I was like it's just a funny little game isn't it that we're all in we're all in a, a really big video game and I've said it before but it's really true and I mean like I said in the post basically the monsters are always bigger in the next lesson in your life every time the monsters are always bigger or there's more of them and it always progresses it's just like a video game you can't beat a level and then go to the next level by beating the same type of difficulty you have to advance and the only way you do that is by being challenged and you can only be challenged by people who are not something you're used to. A true challenge has to be something you uh, haven't experienced yet. Because then you have nothing to go off of. It's just you. And I was thinking, you know, we can either suit up, which is funny because my last video, you remember I channeled gear up? And it was something like, get her up, get her up. But it could have been spiritually, like, wake her up or wake up. It's time to wake up, some of you. <laughs> Maybe your uh, spirit guides or your ancestors are kind of like, you know, um, let's hurry it along. I'm hearing Harry. Somebody could have said hurry like Harry. Let's hurry it along. It's time to wake up now. It's time to learn this lesson. I feel like someone's loved one is nudging somebody here like okay this is a really big it's not it's not a test mm -mm, it's not the word what's the word it's a really I'm hearing it just like this it's a vast self-discovery is the next lesson it will be a vast self-discovery. Wow, that's... Sometimes when they use big words like that, it confuses me. <laughs> oh, people who are used to my channel are like, what does she mean? Does she know that she just said that? It's like... <laughs> but surely most people who are drawn to watch my channel anyway are some type of spiritual, you know? I mean, you might get a few, but surely you'll get more than a few because you got to gotta include those who just watch to um will spy on you or watch to hate on you or watch to whatever it is you know what I mean I'm actually really tired right now gotta get ready to pack because I am moving again and it's just a lot but it's okay you know I'm always uh, I'm hearing man on the run Let's go back to this this uh, message about monsters and games and monstrous spirited people and how you will always 
encounter uh, a more monstrous person than the last. And this should tell you that you're on the path. This is a good indicator. Some of you may have been wondering, am I on the path? Am I off my path? Am I, am I, you know, I was doing good, but am I, have I, am I not, um, I'm hearing, am I not aligned? You are. And a good way to know is, is this challenge, whatever it is, or whatever you're perceiving to be something big about to happen, is this bigger than the last one that you went through? Could be very close to the same, or maybe it's bigger. Maybe you don't really know, but you're like, I know how this goes. Maybe you're like not one of those who have to know everything, but you're kind of like, look, I don't need to know. I don't need to read the tarot. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I don't want spirit to even sort of kind of tell me. <laughs> and then spirit's like, well, I'll just tell you while you're driving in the car, you know, <laughs> or they just won't tell you. But sometimes it's best to sit back and be like, you know what? I don't know. I don't even know if it feels like anything, but I know this, I will go through more lessons because I'm still alive, so that's inevitable. And they're not going to get easier <laughs> because what sense does that make? You know, I'm growing here. I'm not depreciating. I'm elevating. So therefore, I have to get stronger. And the only way you do that is to be challenged. You already know I'm hearing and I need to tell you this. You already know the largest, fiercest monster that you will ever fight. You already know that one. Some of you have fought that one many, many, many times and almost lost. Some of you have dabbled with fighting it a couple of times. That monster is yourself. That's the biggest monster you'll ever have to fight in this video game of life. But aside from that, all the other ones. <laughs> They're a big part of that journey, I'm telling you. They are. It's like a tree, I'm hearing. It's so funny, I'm passing all these trees, and Spirit is reminding me, use the trees as an example. Think about how many times the trees I'm passing right now have had different people, different events, different buildings near it, different everything over a period of time. A Civil War battlefield. I mean... Imagine all that came before it and all that was there after it. Old homes built there, old schools built there, torn down, asylums, things like that. You never know. Some of these trees have still stood standing. That's a tongue, tongue twister. <laughs> still stood standing. I'm hearing stuttering Stanley. But that's from like, or no, wait. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, stuttering Stanley. It just dawned on me. Dawn could be someone's name. It just dawned on me or something to do with washing dishes. <laughs> Somebody could be like washing dishes or something about washing dishes. But uh, I believe stuttering Stanley is from the sixth sense. I believe it was the little boy in the sixth sense that stuttering Stanley, stuttering Stanley. I'm just channeling some crazy stuff, but I think stuttering Stanley came from the sixth sense where he could see dead people. Some of you, the monsters could be like dead people. Or it could just be that people try to send negative energy your way by using black magic and it is reflected to them immediately, never to be returned with love and light and no harm to none because returned to sender repeatedly. All weapons formed against me shall not prosper. All weapons formed against you shall not prosper. Speak it out. I'm seeing Trump in my head. Like, randomly, I'm, I'm seeing Trump in my head. That's crazy. I don't know if I've ever channeled Trump. Channel Trump. Channel. <laughs> well, apparently we're channeling. What about Trump? Nobody can do it like me. Nobody. Nobody can do it like me. Honestly. Nobody's stronger than me. Nobody has better toys than I do. There's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. Nobody loves the Bible more than I do. Anyway, I'm a millennial. <laughs> and I happen to fucking love it. I love being a millennial. Uh, well, I'm not a millennial, but my body is. I was born in a millennial era. 
once. All the other times, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I was definitely here. What is time anyway, you know? We can talk about that again. Boy, I am the worst at smashing my rings. Look at this. Do you see how crooked that is? Look at that. Well, at least we know they're never coming off. We're not without great force. I think I put it on wrong. Son of a bean dip, mother Frito. Oh, I'm hungry. Something about hot water. I'm hearing hot water. Somebody could be in hot water. Or I could be. Cross plane? I'm hearing cross plane. I thought it was so funny the other day. Somebody wrote in my comments, they said something about <laughs> my flatulence <laughs> after I ate the uh, pup cup. And I'm like, I wish I could hold a fart that long. That was so impressive that it's actually a sound effect. <laughs> that just means that I edited the video good. But yeah, I'm like, man. I mean, if any. I guess they probably do have a world's, uh, they probably do have a world's longest fart holding contest. Who holds the world's longest fart record? I guarantee you that's a thing. I looked it up and it's a real thing. I know it was a thing. Look it up guys. The longest fart <laughs> holder, record keeper in the world is like two minutes and something. How do you hold a fart for two minutes? I can barely, I gotta like, uh, uh, like squeeze it, you know what I mean? I gotta like lift an ass cheek to get it out. TMI. <laughs> TMI. Two minutes. Like who, how do you even apply for that? How do you, you just call up Ripley's Believe It or Not, or you call up the Guinness Book of World Records and you're like, hey. I got something you might like to see. It's pretty impressive. No one really likes it, but... Well, surely, if you can beat a record, you get paid, right? I'm gonna have to Google that, too. Shit. But I got things to do today. <laughs> I gotta... Well, yeah, I gotta work. I got shit to do at home. Anyways.